ten. Finishing up getting our wood prepped here. Tunis is off gathering some more. I can hear him on his way back, so probably get supper cooking shortly. Hiked in across the ice today and we just kept punching holes in the ice as we were walking, kept augering holes just to make sure of the thickness. We've got quite a bit of ice. There's probably close to two feet in some spots still but it's get, kind of getting honeycomb and so air on the side of caution and just keep checking as we we came in but thankfully we were able to cross the lake because that really shortened our trip in or at least made it a lot easier anyway not having to go all the way around through the bush there's still a fair bit of snow back in the bush but we have this beautiful nice campsite loads of firewood on a gorgeous lake That'll do. That'll do, donkey. <laughs> I'm not calling you Shrek, by the way. <laughs> oh. Catching splake or what? 
I think we're catching splake. That's just me though. Lots of food to eat. Okay, so Tunis is on for dinner tonight. He's gone all out. <laughs> We've got, I'm gonna let him tell you. Okay, dude. Well, it's inspired by Brittany Richards, which some of you may know. She's usually the chef in the back country, but we got some homemade rye bread. We're making some uh, smoked meat sandwiches here. We got homemade sauerkraut, homemade pickles. These are spicy with jalapenos, jalapenos. Onion, Swiss cheese, uh, honey, homemade honey mustard, mayonnaise, and yeah, the homemade bread. See here, Britt's got it all swirly and nice looking. <laughs> so we're going to fry that up with butter on one side, get it nice and toasty, flip it, put all the toppings on, and then sandwich it and toast the other sides. And that'll be dinner. While waiting for fish. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we'll get this going. So we'll get those warm up and a little bit toasted. Holy Boom. <laughs> there you go. This is homemade sauerkraut too? Yep. Wow. A pickle for you, or two. Yeah, you can take a couple pickles. You can uh, try it out too if you want. See if you yeah. like it. Either love them or hate them. People don't like the tang, but I love nice tangy, spicy pickles. So, yeah, they've got a little bit of zip to them. Um, oh no, I won't be too shy there. Oh shit! <laughs> All right, buddy. Which way do I have that? Like this? Sure. Perfect. Beauty. She ain't the prettiest, but she'll taste good. Sure. Let's go with that. All right. Voila. Okay, this thing's huge. Here we go. No plates. Mm. How is it? I think it's delicious. It's amazing. Thanks, honey. Just starting to get set up for bed. Well, I've still got some daylight. I'm setting my bed up while I've still got daylight. This is going to be a little different tonight, sleeping in this hammock. A little different for me using this. I've tried a traditional style hammock, like a Hennessy, and it was terrible. I had the most uncomfortable couple nights using it, and actually the day I got home from using it, I put it up for sale because I was never going to use it again. I'm going to be up here, and it means that Cooper is not. So that's another different thing for tonight. Normally we're in the tent together, and he's right beside me. But tonight, we're going to make him a nice little bed right here beside me. It'll be nice and dry. Should we get any rain or anything tonight? Not supposed to rain, but you never know. So someone cut all these boughs. Here, Cooper. Come here. Anyway, I'm going to make the most of these boughs for the night. And then I'm right there above them. Come here, bud. Good boy. Well, we've just been sitting around the fire, talking, chatting for the last few hours since it got dark. So, about to try and climb into this hammock. See you in the morning.
shoot. Oh, it's a beauty. Oh my goodness. Wow. Like a beautiful colored up splake, my goodness. Close to three pounds. Don't do a Xander. Check that out guys. Look at that beautiful splake. You wanna eat it? I'll eat it if you want to. I'm happy you hold hold it up, let's see it. That's awesome, man. Good morning folks. Got the fire going and I'm gonna start getting breakfast on. Tunis is already down fishing and the moment he dropped his line in, bam. A beautiful big splake, probably three pounds, just hammered it. So we were talking of whether we were going to have it for breakfast, and then it fell back down the hole. But anyway, he appeared to be fine. He wasn't bleeding or anything, so he's back in the lake. So now we're going to try again. We've got all day to fish, and we're going to have some bacon and eggs for breakfast. Other than that, there's not a whole lot on the agenda. It's going to be a pretty good day. Yeah, I burned my finger in the fire trying to, and the pot tipped over this morning. So, got that to enjoy. That was a nice fish though. Some nice thick bacon, some eggs. And if you've never had these, Hungry Jack potatoes, they're pretty good. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. What should I do first, the hash browns? Yeah, I'll let you do it so I don't steal them all. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Help yourself. I'm not the best at portions. <laughs> it's all good. There's plenty. There's tons Is there. that just the one carton? Yeah. Okay. It says it feeds seven. But yeah, yeah. There's no I way. I mean, it's There's seven somewhere. small people. <laughs> yeah. Oompa Loompas. Yeah. Or Joe's. No, just, <laughs> just kidding, Joe. Little Joe. Yeah. Try some stirred on there. Not a typical breakfast sauce, but I'm down. I'm an adventurous man. Sprinkle it on. A little drizzle, drizzle. Tell me when. That's good. That's good. Perfect. Breakfast of champions. Oh man, it's gonna be so good. Yep. Honey mustard's a ticket though. That's awesome. I never would have thought. But yeah, that's delicious. This has turned into one of those spring days where the weather can't seem to make up its mind. You go from beautiful sunshine to snowing, to wind, switching from every which direction. So, hey buddy. Yeah, it's still a spectacular day out here though. Tunis has just gone for some firewood. So, he's a good guy to have in camp. He likes cutting firewood. Spring is definitely coming on fast. We just need the ice to hang on for another 24 hours. And then we can make it back out of here fairly easily tomorrow. Hey. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, pull me right off my chair.
special delivery. So we're gonna mix it up for dinner tonight. We had some pasta we were gonna make and we brought so much food. But we've got these nice little smoky sausages, cheddar jalapeno, and some wraps. We've got more of the homemade bread. We're gonna mix it up. We got a bit of that Montreal smoked meat from last night. Oh, so we I figure to that. <laughs> we figure that uh Take the sausage, wrap it up in the meat, throw it in a wrap or on some bread, and that's going to be dinner. Oh, now tell me that doesn't look delicious. <laughs> Cooper thinks so. Good? Mm-hmm. Oscar Mayer sandwich. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well, it's snowing like crazy again. This is one of those days where if, uh, if you don't like the weather, just wait a few minutes. It just keeps switching, keeps changing up. It really fluctuating back and forth between sunshine and rain and, or wet snow and ice pellets. And so just getting dinner cleaned up and then maybe we'll take shelter for a little bit and see how long the snow lasts. The sun's come out and turn into the most beautiful evening. It's a good farewell to winter and hello to spring tonight. Probably get an early start out of here tomorrow and get across the ice. I don't want to risk too much, eh? Don't need to fall through. No. Did you tell them what the two options are? Either, yeah. either track across the path that we took if it's safe or we have to bushwhack six plus kilometers to get around the wonky shore of this lake. Yeah. Which would be a full day endeavor. Yeah. Post holing through the snow all the way around. Doesn't sound like fun. Our option three if the ice is bad is we swim home. <laughs> I'll just be on a tow rope on <laughs> Tosh's shoulders. Woo! Again, there's 14, 14 or 16 inches right here. So it's just a matter of getting us and our packs across this 10 feet. Yeah. Gee, purse. <laughs> Just getting that much more deep too, like that's <laughs> six inches. So it's this band, you can see there's this discolored ice right along the shoreline here that's starting to warm first as the sun's warming these rocks that I'm standing on. Out where the fishing rods are, we've still got 14 plus inches and then out in the middle it's even deeper but around the edges definitely uh, the last of winter right now so <laughs> Tunis is out here just trying to drown himself apparently <laughs> just walking back and forth yeah. through this mushy section oh here. it's so scary <laughs> like I said like We'll be good. I hope. <laughs> I, hope. <laughs> I hope. I hope. Here we go again. 
more rain and wet snow or wet snow I don't think it's gonna last that long though but getting some stuff under cover and the weather just can't make up his mind today just one of those days Well, we're up early this morning. It's uh, about 6.30. We're starting to get camp packed up and torn down. For the last few hours, we've been both laying in our hammocks just listening to the ice. Most of the night, the whole lake was just creaking and groaning as ice is really starting to shift. You know, there's a lot of pockets of air kind of trap between layers of ice and if those are starting to collapse or shift could get unstable out there so we're gonna get things packed up early this morning and make a dash across the lake to get back to the truck there's plenty of ice out there and it still seems like it's good and solid actually places that we were getting a little wet yesterday and kind of breaking through the top our little path right out off the the landing beach here uh, is now frozen solid and we can walk on it so it was fairly cold last night we got serenaded by wolves for a couple hours that was kind of cool yet to see if any of that if I was able to record any of it all but it was pretty cool to hear nonetheless we're all packed up and ready to start making the trek across. So, hopefully this goes okay. I think we'll be fine. Looks good and solid out there. So, just the creaking and banging that are a little unnerving, but I think we're going to be good. All this that was slush yesterday is all frozen actually. So it's good to hurt now. Yeah, it's uh, much stiffer than yesterday, but that's no reason to be careless. So we're going to follow our tracks where we know there's good solid ice. Make our way back. I think we're in good shape out here, so thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one.